It's like a religion and overwhelming decision to check out these anime manga reviews Strike with the kitchen, brought by supreme guru, sit back, relax and listen And joining on the discussion, I ain't supreme guru for nothing I am anime, you know you can't click away I get away from the urge of talking manga and anime So pay close attention when I say that guru is in the here and now and here to stay What's up, people? It's Guru. Welcome to Channel Keep It Real Raw and Cut. Today's topic Attack on Titan, Episode 6. Let's go. Yo, man, I gotta admit, man, this was another hell of an episode, man. Uh, oh, man, this, this is a good episode. Um, this is. This has quickly become like one of my best, my favorite series right now, man. It's um, the emotion that they're able to bring out in these characters and this. In the manga, it's emotional, but that's actually seeing it acted out in the anime is like crazy, man. This is like, oh man, one of the most, it was depressing and sad, man. And uh, the sense of despair, man, this episode was crazy. It was crazy, man. Like, when you see my man, um, damn, I can't think of his name. I know his name started with A. Y'all know I'm horrible with names. Ugh, I can't think of the little kid's name, man. He just a wreck, man. He really, you know, he kind of like wakes up out of his days and he realizes that uh, his whole squad's been wiped out, man. And he lost his best friend, Aaron, man. He started, he started, they showed this good scene where he like, all the memories start flooding back into his head, man. Kind of, it kind of reminds me of that scene of uh, Death Note when uh, Light got his uh, memory back and everything just rushed back into his head. He realized like, yo, yo, man, my, his best friend just died, man. And he's torn up, man. I mean, he's just a mess, man. He's just... And you can see the pain and the, the torture in his eyes, man. I thought, like, I thought that maybe Ace, when Ace died, that pain that they kind of showed in uh, my man Luffy's eyes, yo, it ain't nothing compared to this, man. Yo, the way they animated this was just amazing, man. The tears, man, it was just, it was just, it was just crazy. Yo, man, I'll tell you, man, you know, I shed a couple of manly tears in this episode, man. This is a very depressed, um, sad, depressing Depressing episode, man. Then it showed, um, old girl, what's that? Makasa, what's that? Makasa? I think I was in so I I it right. Oh, she a beast. She go hard now, man. But they showed her backstory to show how she became what she was, man. We saw that Aaron, Aaron was the truth back in the day, man. Aaron, Aaron, uh, she got, when the scene where they showed that her parents got slaughtered and this guy was gonna use her as, a, I guess, like, um, Makasa as a slave slave because she was from, um, uh, we learned that she's Oriental. So I guess they want to say that she's Chinese, and they said they're almost uh, wiped out right now. So she would go big on a um, open market. So this guy wanted to take the, um, her, her and her mother, and like uh, sell them to a black market, like prostitution and slavery. And so they went and killed her father. So her father gets the stab. She knocks on the door. He opens the door. Dude, this this guts right there at the door. Boom! The father's bleeding all over the floor, man. He don't even know what the hell going on. The mother tried to protect her daughter, right? Man, this was crazy. This dude hit her mother axe to the head, dog. Axe to the head. Yo, she's dead. She's bleeding all over the place. They take Mikasa, man. Dude punches her in the face and knocks her out, man. And Aaron finds out him and the doc, him and his, uh, his father, the doctor, come by and go check on stuff. And they find out what's going on. They go track him down. Aaron goes in by himself, yo. Little kid, man. Man, he stabs up all the... um. All the they on the, the the villains or whatever the bad guys he stabbed both of them up kill them up man as a kid yo and then she tells him when he's on um, um, getting um saving Makasa uh Mikasa, she was like yo there was three of them and the third one comes out of a bag and just, just chokes Aaron out man he like low you know in this world he tell her like yo in this world you got to fight to live you know if you want to live you know. If you go to win, you know, you live, you know, you lose, you die pretty much. That's the way of the world. And she was thinking about how she saw this stuff in nature and she really didn't catch on to it until now. It showed how cruel the world really was, you know. So she saw scenes like her dad killed a goose. Uh, she saw insects, even other insects and stuff in her mother's garden. And she gained the strength and like something just snaps in her mind, man. And she just, she takes off, man, and like just lunges and just... Takes his knife and just stabs the dude up, man. Just kills him, man. Said they, I think they said he got one to the back and one to the neck. I think that's what the guy said. So, and then she's cold and she's crying, like you know, like now, I don't have a home. And you realize that that she was then she was saying like, and then it was like this whole scene that she was like, yeah, and on top of that, 
I'm cold. And you saw like the scene, like this little kid, this little girl in a nightgown sitting in the darkness. And you know, like, damn, she don't have a mother and father no more. And it's, it's dark outside, man. You know, it's nighttime. Kids should be inside the house. And she's like, yo, I don't have a home anymore, you know. And then she said, and I'm cold, you know. So it was like, damn. And so Aaron walks over there and gives her a scarf and says, you're warm, right? So that's how we learn. We learn how she got her scarf and why she treasured that scarf so much. Then we also learn this episode about the, uh, it was at the ending credits when the ending scene go, they show these little, these knives coming down. You see her running with a knife. That's the knife that she used in the, uh, when she uh, killed her attackers and killed, uh, avenged her uh, parents. So we get a whole bunch of answers, but the thing was, the thing I did like was that we got to wait to see. She hasn't realized that Aaron's dead yet. You know, so I guess next week we're gonna find that out. And um, I think I can't think of a little kid. Oh, I'm a, ah, I can't think of a little blonde head kid name. But yo, he, 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 uh, yo, his his story was sad, man. He was, I'm telling you, man, when he's talking, he break tears in your eyes, man. He was talking about how he was saying this world is hell. Then he said, you know what? That's wrong because we've been in hell this whole time. We just didn't know it. He saw a flashback showing how the bullies were beating him up for being. They were calling him a heretic and stuff and. Being a bully because he liked to read. He was getting bully because he liked to read and stuff in that book. And, you know, and he was showing his friends. One of them, they were strong. And he said that to them, he felt like to them, he was something that needed to be protected because he couldn't protect himself because he was weak. But he said the whole time he wanted to be strong so he could be the equal, you know. And that was crazy. And he said, like, some good that did, you know. And then he crashes. And he crashes. And it was like, this, this is having a horrible day. He crashes, man. Falls to the ground and it's just like, yo, he just a lump, he hurt his leg. It looks so, you see this other sad scene, this is the other girl. She tried to help one of her squadron uh, members. This dude, man, she just giving him mouth to mouth, just giving him CPR over and over again. He ain't moving. She said, you know, help me, he's not breathing, help me. And so you look and you can tell that the guy's tall, but he's only half his lean. So obviously, half of his body was gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So pretty much he was dead and uh, my man knew it. He was like, you know, stop it. She's like, no, I gotta help him. He was like, stop it, you know, it's, it's too late. And, he, just, he was whispering it because he just can't get out of his mouth because he was thinking like, he knew that how helpless she felt and that's how helpless he felt with what happened to Aaron, you know? And so, it was just a whole, this, this scene was just, it was just crazy. Dr sadness, despair. Oh, man, this thing is, I see what Philly be saying, man. These shows, man, they depressing, man. It brought me down, man. I'm telling you, man, I shed some man tears, man. I shed some man tears over this episode, man. Man, it was, it was it was it was sad, son. It was sad. But then um, but we also learned, man, that girl Makoski is a beast, man. When she took down that Titan, it was like they couldn't. This Titan, this Titan was hauling ass, man. Down the, the we was hauling ass down the alleyway. It was funny to see how he was running because he had no motion in his hand. He was like, uh, he was running like a, a toddler, like a runaway toddler. But he was just hauling ass though. He's wild, but he was like, till like like any time he would fall over, and it's like he didn't have no kind of uh, stability, man. It's like his head was rocking back and forth, and the motion how they got him running, man, was crazy. It was just, I just reminded me of a baby trying to run, and uh, they couldn't catch up with him. And Mikasa come out of nowhere, walks this dude down using the 3Ds, man. Hooks this dude in the neck, pulls himself up to him, chop chop. She hits him so hard, you know, kills him. She hits him so hard that she does, she um, she um, actually does her blade. She damages her blade. That's how hard she hit him, chop chop. And she's like, damn it, you know, like I'm ruining my blades on this dude, man. But she killed him and she saved a whole bunch of people. And we still see that whole evil side of humanity. This dude was just trying this rich man. He had uh, great things, and the people were trying to leave, evacuate, and he was putting his uh. His physical belongings above these people's lives because he was rich and felt he was entitled. So he was blocking the whole entranceway. And the people were going to just pretty much get killed. And he wasn't going to move. He was putting all of his worldly possessions above their lives. And, man, it was still like, yo, just how rotten society is, man. This this, uh, this show shows how humanity really is, man, how horrible it is. Um, this episode, you know, I do a little Bible verse. It's, it's, a, it's a thing in the Bible when Jesus talked to this guy and the guy was asking how can I have eternal life or salvation and everything that you speak of? And he was like, well, you know, give, give all your worldly possessions to your, uh, to the poor and walk with me and you will have eternal life. You have paradise for forever. But he walked away from Jesus and he was like, yo, he chose his worldly possessions that he was going to end up dying and going to end up going away anyway over having Everlasting peace, everlasting salvation, you know, saying he gave all of that up just to be on the stuff that doesn't even matter, 
you know? And that, that shows how much he's said. That's how rich people, Jesus said, that's why it's so hard for rich people to get to paradise, you know what I'm saying? Because they love their, their heart is on the earth. It says, uh, especially lay your, lay your treasure, let's say, lay your treasures in heaven, because where, well, where your treasure is is where a man's heart will be. So that's what it was. This man's treasure was on worldly things. So that's what his heart was. He didn't, he didn't give anything else. And this what this man's thing was. He, he, he gave away all of humanity, all this, everything, the compassion for itself. He just gave it away just for these trinkets and stuff that he had on his cart. He was going to let all these people die just for that. You know what I'm saying? That, that I was like showing like, yo, and that's humanity in a, in a nutshell, man, to show how selfish we are and how greedy we are and how we, uh, we'll just step on the next man just just to get ahead just a little bit. And then even if he would have got that stuff in there, he was risking his life just to save this worthless stuff, man. It's like, yo, it's so good being a millionaire if you're dead, you know what I'm saying? Or what's good being a millionaire when you, there's nobody around? You know, there's no society. So he, so the money was going to be worthless, you know? So why do that? You you got all these people murdered for nothing, man. So that just showed the evil, this just showed the evil of men and how these people were just going to just, this dude killed these people's family just to get their daughter so he can pimp them out on the black market, man. I was like, yo, man, it was just, just crazy. It's like, yo, we already getting attacked by Titans and stuff, and yet you still willing to kill each other. You know, it's barely, it's feeling like so much hum humans left, and then we still killing each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you already got the Titans doing it for us, wiping us out. Then you're going to help them by killing each other? So... Yo, this show is crazy, man. It's crazy, man. It, 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 it's got so many different different meanings and symbolisms and stuff in here, man. So I'm, I'm really digging it, man. Um, like I said, man, the, the hype is justified, man. The hype is justified. The show, the show goes hard, man. The show goes hard, man. Uh, this episode, man, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it had act, this uh, 10 out of 10, man. 10 out of 10. I ain't dick riding. I ain't hoeing. I ain't. I ain't fanboy, and I'm just saying this was a great ass episode, man. I love this. I love the symbolism, the action. It had action. It had it had the blood. It had the meaning. It had dialogue, man. This, the show went hard, man. The show went hard. The animation was good, man. It was just incredible. And then you learn, it's like uh, you got development for the characters, got development, and it's like, yo, man, this is this, that's this, crazy, man. This, the show is. Oh. I don't know, man. Y'all better watch out for Attack on Titan. Watch out for Attack on Titan, man. It's the truth right now, man. It's delivering. I know it's only been six episodes, but these six episodes, it has delivered. But uh, I'm going to go along with this, you know, this review. I'll holler at y'all fellas later. Tell me what y'all thought of this episode in the uh, comment section. I'll see y'all boys later. Peace.